Are you going to just vomit? I'm going to vomit! <laughs> Oh, did you just fall over? I'm so smart. All been bathed, showered, fed. Might still be awake when I get home. No, grandma can find me like this. No, you would have find grandma. What? I've had so many mums reaching out being like, yes, I've done this too and it has saved me. Good morning guys, we are heading down for a little beach walk and a coffee stop before we go to school. We've been loving starting our day doing this, hey, it's been so nice. We just said bye bye to Rigi girl. Let's stick the heads in. Oh, did you just fall over? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just went there. We're going to get these kids off to school. Oh, thank you. What's that on top? Little treat. I do not know. Yum. I wanted to eat mine. <laughs> Once dad gives a biscuit, I have to give mine. Wow. She's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Got my takeaway brekkie with me, guys, on the go. Whipped the up for the last wheat big. Excuse you, wheat big biscoff. You did not whip it up. I whipped these up. If I helped you make one. Yes, you did help me make I, these ones, Link. I don't care the time to make it. You know what I mean? Hello, guys. We are back home now. And those of you who follow over on Instagram will already know, but we have got some very exciting news in our house. Riggy Girl is officially sleeping through the night. Touch wood. The last two nights, Kurt came up with this great plan where what he has done is actually piled up pillows beside her on the bed. So when she wakes up in the night, the thought process that went through his head for the first night was like she would think that I was there. But now I think it's purely just created comfort for her because last night she obviously knew that the pillows were there. They were piled up when she went to sleep. So I don't know if it's just like the closeness of going from like having a cot to like this great big bed. It's just made her feel like a little bit more safe and secure or what it is. But I could not wait to come over and share it with you guys because I know so many of you are in a similar situation to us and have been struggling a little bit with your night sleep. And ever since I've shared on Instagram, I've had so many mums reaching out being like, yes, I've done this too and it has saved me and you can even go a little bit further I've had heaps of mums saying that they actually put like their pajama shirt on the pillow so it smells like them as well but guys it's fully been working we have had two full nights now of sleep which I can't even tell you how good it feels anyone who has been stuck in the rut of like up and down nights when you finally start sleeping again I think you get to a point where you actually forget like how good you do feel when you get a full night's sleep but it has been so nice because I feel like this week I'm like back in the swing of things again I went to my dance class on Monday night. It was so much fun. I've just booked again to go tonight, which I'm keen for. I've been back to getting up early to get work done. It's gotten rid of that sleep anxiety of me, like, you know, not going to things like dance class because I haven't known what each night is going to bring. And it's also given me that extra time in the morning because I'm able to wake up earlier now to like get things done. So catch up on work or do a stretch session or get to the gym. So yeah, I'm feeling so good the last few days. Now let's just hope that it lasts but we have got Kurt's mum over here today we've got grandma here she is doing a couple hours this morning so Curtie and I are just going to get some work done and then I'm going to be hanging out with Riggy girl while grandma goes and heads out for lunch with her girlfriends today and then she's going to come back again and then I'll work again so I've got a two-hour break in the middle of the day to hang out with Riggy which I'm really excited for and Curtie's going to be getting a bunch of work done in that time so yeah I'm excited to have a couple hours just solo mummy and Riggy time Is she got the cat in there? Is she got the cat in there? He's not in there? He's not. Okay. Mom, kitty's in there. You got a kitty in there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Watch your fingers. We are hiding this kitty. Are you hiding from grandma? <gasps> Coming very <better> little lot. <laughs> no, no. No, grandma can't find me like this. No, you gotta find grandma. What? You gotta find grandma, you gotta count. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Which one's yours or mine? This one is mine. Got some lunch. I've been back to coming and sitting outside to have my lunch now, guys, because it's cooled down so much. So it's beautiful to sit out here for five minutes, get some sunshine, and then I'll be hanging out with Riggy Girl while you work. 
Look at Kitty, guys. He always sleeps in my bag. I can't put it away because he loves sleeping in it. He likes sleeping in there, hey. Bought you a cat bed and you never ever use it. <laughs> Ray, you wanna play with mum? Does she wanna play with me? Well, guys, Regan doesn't want to hang with mom. <laughs> I was like so excited to have a couple hours today to like just hang with her. But I think grandma has well and truly worn her out because she's literally just sitting down and watching telly. This is her first time all day that she has sat down and watched telly. So yeah, I think she's just needing a little bit of a rest in the middle of the day, which is so fair enough. So I've got a couple of spare hours up my sleeve. Lucky me, but unlucky me because there's a lot of folding to put away. <laughs> and there's also a very messy house to be cleaned. Quite out of the folding, the folding is done, but got me out of putting it away. Do you want to go to the park? I want to fold it for you. You want to fold it for me? They're all done. Do you want to go play in the cubby? I want to fold them away. Do you know how we put them away? Mm -hmm. You know how we put them away? We can put them away together. Okay, who's of these? Millers. Millers, you want to come help me find where to put them? <laughs> come on, let's go. Where about <laughs> some Millers' jammies go? Do you know? Her jammies are a bit messy, hey. Pop them in. No, that's Millet. Yeah, they're her jammies. It's a Lincoln's. Is it? Yeah. It's Lincoln's. Oh my goodness, you're right. We put in the wrong one. You put in the wrong one. Lucky I have you to help me. You put in the wrong one. Oh my goodness, lucky I got you to help. Whose have you got there? I'm, ca I'm carrying these for you. Thank you. Good job. Who's they? Okay, let's go put them away. If you bring them, I'll bring these are yours. Okay. They're your jammies. Yeah. You know where your jammies go? And then these are mine. Yeah, and this is yours too. Yep. Who would have thought out of all things that Rigi could do with mum that she would want to put the folding away? I nearly thought I got out of it. <laughs> Come! Okay. I'll make them in the right ones. <gasps> You are very smart. Do you want to go to the park? Do you want to go on the swing? Do you want to go to the beach? Guys, she's just happy chilling today. I think she had daycare Monday, Tuesday. Usually Wednesday, I feel like it catches up with her and she's just wanting like a little bit of a slower day. So yeah, I've literally asked her if she wants to go on the swing, go down the slide, go to the playground and she's just like happy to chill, but it is the middle of the day. So it makes sense that she's wanting to chill. So yeah, she's just literally sitting there playing dolls. Pizza. No, <laughs> this is so yum. Why can't I eat it? You need to wash it. I need to wash it. It's already cooked. I don't need to wash it. No, you have jams in your mouth. <laughs> I don't have jams in my mouth. Where? Jams in my mouth. Do you pretend this is a bath? 
I vomited. Is that why you need to wash it first? Yeah. Oh dear. I should have listened to you. I should you, you just don't listen to me. I know, I should have listened to you. You look bad. I'm bad? Yeah. <gasps> I just, this is an accident. Find you know my best friend. The afternoon mad rush begins. <laughs> Good He's on the school lunches. I'm just about to prep up our breakfast. Miller, tell me hello. I am playing with Macy. Playing with Macy and the kids are out the front with Grandma as well. Grandma's staying a bit longer today because Big Dad's out surfing. So she was like, oh. I can hang out with the kids. So I I'm going off to... Start smoking early tonight. Yeah, smoking. You don't, you don't say smoking on the barbecue. Unless people think you're like it's literally... I've had some people messaging me being like, I didn't know Kurt smokes. People think that all the time. Could you say I smoking? I smoke better than anyone. <laughs> But in a few hours, I'm gonna be heading off to dancing. I'm so excited. I've done a heels class for three weeks. Heels class? I've been going to my sneakers one on a Monday. Um, but last week, I just completely didn't go because I was just too tired, guys, with Regi Girl and not sleeping and stuff like that. And I went up to Brisbane that week. I just had a full week off. But otherwise, the last few weeks, I've just been doing the Mondays. And then the Wednesdays, it's just been like Regi's has had a real bad night on the Tuesdays and stuff like that. So I haven't gone. But this week, Regi Girl's been sleeping, guys. So I'm like, yes, I'm going. Going solo again. I literally pretty much, what do you reckon, 90% of the time go on my own now? Yeah. Yeah. But it's really nice that I'm at a place where I'm not like relying on anyone and I've just been showing up on my own. Except for last week, I haven't missed a week since I first started back. So that was, when did we first start? Start when of the year? Not, when did I first start Polecats? Like back then? Um, well, I did that for five weeks and I've been doing this for probably five or six. So yeah, it's probably consistently been like nearly a few months, you reckon? Yeah, easy if you Yeah, which is good. But I feel like the first like five classes, it was really nice to go with people. I feel like they really helped to hold me accountable and get me into the groove of going. But yeah, now I just love it. And I love that I don't rely on anyone else as well. I love that I just can go on my own and it's just so much fun. I made it guys. I'm heading off now. Kids are pretty well all set and ready for bed. They've all been bathed, showered, fed. Um, so yeah, they might still be awake when I get home. I finish at 7.30. So by the time I get home, it's normally like quarter to eight. But they did start the day a bit earlier this morning. So they might also be asleep. So wait and see. But I am so excited. I've got so much energy tonight as well, which is so good. There's a couple good night's sleeps. I feel like they just help so much. <laughs> This is the wedding, the wedding entrance. The wedding is good, it is cold wind. It is cold today. We call this the stiff nipple wind. Fuck! <laughs>